going to play the Fleece mainline. Nice, that's 3-3 three, three on turn two. See Blood Soaked Champion hanging out in his hand as well. He'll be able to give the Lions some company next turn. Along with Gather Courage to help him help protect him from Lightning Strike here. Besides that, Brad's shown that this deck has really good mana. There's a Seder Wayfinder. This is probably part of the reason why. Well, this time the Seder Wayfinder is not going to be as good against Aaron. It'll still be a speed bump. And it did the unfortunate thing of showing Aaron what's going on here. It mills a copy of Anger of the Gods. Now, you know, the red lights have to go off. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. You're playing that card. Here's an attack for three. Barrett's draw was a copy of Thoughtseize. That might change the way he plays this one, and it will. I think, actually, Brad has a copy of Anger of the Gods in his hand, and you see one right now, along with a Bloodstained Mire, a Forest, a Swamp, a Siege Rhino, and Elspeth, too. So and he's taking a really slow approach. Yeah, I mean, his plan is Anger, Siege Rhino, Elspeth. I mean, I think it was because Savage Lands was so good. Yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> that, that you just... There wasn't much exploring to do because I would you just get your hand blightening. Well, there's Bloodstone Champion. This is interesting. He took Siege Rhino, and then he played the Bloodstone Champion, just knows that his opponent. Well, he is baiting pretty hard here with this Gather Courage uh -huh. in his hand. If you're Brad, you, the alarm bells should be sounding on Brad's side too. This is too, this is too easy. It's just, this is, this is so awesome because, you know, Aaron is playing against one of, if not the best standard players in the world. And you know that Brad just knows Ooh. so much about standard. It's like, and Aaron's just like, I don't care. This is, Aaron may not know his opponent here. So there's different aspects of the game that some of your better good players are good at. And as far as reading body language and figuring out, like, this bluff of, oh, yeah, oh, no, don't play anger. Okay, like, Brad Nelson is the last person you want to run that against. Yeah, like, yeah. And he's, and, and, and he's going to go catch. for it, but yeah. I don't think, you know, you see Brad just not even, not even flinch. Just, I mean, yeah, that's going to happen. Aaron made it appealing. He loses his Bloodstone Champion for the game, and he's yep. perfectly fine with it. Now he's going to be attacking for three. So he's ahead on the board. Fourth land's going to come into play, and he's hoping he can just keep pushing his advantage. Yeah. I think it's more of a nose there. Yeah, Brad, Brad knew what he was getting into. Yeah. And that's fine. He did lose his Siege Rhino, which was the follow-up play, but it's not terrible for Brad right now. Carry and just passed the turn back. Barrett's going to draw a card. There's another copy of Gather Courage. There's a Windswept Heath. He also gets a chance to mon use the Monstrosity on this Fleece Main line, which is pretty important. And yeah, the nice thing about Brad's deck is that he actually has outs to this in this situation because Crackling Doom. Exactly. It can, beat, it can actually beat the Monstrosity. Let's see what the follow-up play is going to be. He's going to Gather Courage. Punch him right to the face. Okay. All right. Is this maybe? Oh my, uh, three, four, five, five plus six is it? I think he might have a become a mess. That would put Brad to one. one. Yep. All right. That will put Brad, <laughs> make the police main line an 11 11. This reminds me of the last deck I saw Aaron playing, which was the Boros Charm Celestia Charm combo deck, yeah, where, you know, you'd, where you'd say no blocks. You'd be like, whoa, 16 you. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> That is reminiscent of that strategy. There's a swamp. Is it Elspeth time, perhaps? I'm not sure how he's going to get the last point of damage. I don't know either. Let's see what the draw is. Did not get a good look at it. I mean, there were some things to hope for there. It was possible that, you know, maybe Brad's last land was a fetch. There were a lot of things that Aaron can play for. That easy block. Press says, do you have any way to give Trample? I hope not. <laughs> no. Sure can't beat it if he did. Yeah, Could activate monstrosity. Yeah. Pass the turn back. Elspeth doesn't actually care too much about the monstrosity. She can make an army and then make them fly over all the same. Yep, there's Corsair. Now Corsair starts to gain a little bit of life, so there is that. It has to get Brad up to four before he's out of range of a Siege Rhino top deck, however. And now we're getting aggressive. Hello, Xenagos, along with Soldier Tokens. Take this up. The reason he's getting aggressive, I think, is because he just wants to get this game over. Didn't get a great look. Looks like it's just it's a not copy of air. Dry, no. It's air and Lanoir Wastes. Aaron getting so close here, but all equally impressive that just how quickly Brad's turning this game around. You know, 
Aaron has one more turn to draw Siege Rhino, and it's not because, because Brad will be at four, it's because Aaron will be at zero. Mm -hmm. Might be thinking, is Obzon, char Obzon charming out in this situation, but it says you draw two cards and you lose two life. Yeah, the old sign in blood trick where you target your opponent does not work with Obzon Charm. Brad's reaching for some soldier tokens. Maybe Xenagos is going to go up as well. He wants to be able to deal as much damage as possible, make it a two-turn clock without exposing himself to anything that could hurt him. And there's the attack. Aaron will get to block part of it. Can he draw Siege Rhino to force game three? It's going to have to happen this turn. Three more soldier tokens. Oh, come on, top deck. Really do it? Can he bring it into a game three? He's going to need some luck. Brad, I love you, but come on, top deck. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh! 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 We're going to game three. And we, they both knew it, too. Oh, man. <laughs> Aaron Barrage, Brad Nelson, they're tied up. All right. That was a four outer Aaron hits right there. Whoo, a deep breath as we move yeah, on to game three. <laughs>